around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on March 24th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. This is the Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at the sun, 304 angstroms, and mostly watching plasma erecting from our heliosphere. No sunspots to talk about. We have a small equatorial hole, equatorial coronal hole, developing in the last few frames. Looking here, 211 angstroms. Amazing images coming out of Solar Dy Dynamics Observatory. I want to thank all of the credited researchers and developers. Here we're able to see the coronal hole that is developing. Southern region moving equatorial. Let's look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours as it has been pretty busy. That's right, this is a 24 hour map right now. Watching a lot of minor earthquakes here up the California coastline, Lake Pines, California. As well in Washington, 2.6 to 2.9. 2.8 there in Texas. Utah is still rumbling, 3.1. Magna, Utah. 2.6 there, Oklahoma. Dominican Republic still dealing with the earthquake swarm. 5.1 here, South Chile. 5.0 in Chile. So South America are rocking today. Minor earthquakes, Hawaii. Pretty deep earthquakes. Fiji here, 444 kilometer depth, a 4.4 earthquake. And as well, 5.3 at a 500 kilometer depth. That was last night. And just watching a bunch of fours move through Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and up into Taiwan and Japan. Quiet across the African plate, Indian plate, Eurasia. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Quite a few deep earthquakes this week. Observing. So watching for a larger, shallower earthquake. Yesterday there was, or two days ago, the 6.2 East Pacific rise. So that's the largest earthquake that we've had in the last seven days. Stay where I'm prepared, my friends. Looking here at Pacific Disaster Center. Get an update on all of the most recent updated volcanoes. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru. As well, Opopo in Mexico. Uh, Sangue in Ecuador. Era in Japan. Fuego in Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador, and as well, this updated earthquake, or sorry, volcano in Antarctica. Now, there's no name here, but 11 hours ago, we got a notice of an active volcano in, an, in, in, our, in Antarctica. That's right. So the only known active a volcano that I know of in Antarctica is Mount Rubis. But apparently this thing is in the center of Antarctica and it's not even giving me a name. It's just giving me a notice. So maybe this is an unnamed volcano that has erupted. I'll definitely be keeping you updated on that situation. As we're looking around the world right now from the major disasters quite a situation happening across the United States. Straight up the Mississippi and through the southeastern United States, looking at major flooding conditions and they're set to continue as uh, more systems are going to be affecting them today. Extreme weather, heavy downpours. And as well, India and Pakistan are dealing with the same thing as they have a very sizable and vigorous low pressure system that went across Iraq and Iran and is now affecting Afghanistan and into Pakistan. 
and that's a pretty sizable low pressure system deep lower level trough embedded within this spinning off some nasty storms heavy downpours across Pakistan and India let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and Media Mike starting out here in home base Calgary Alberta as we're looking at some semi-seasonal temperatures cooler at night and warming during the day but watch for colder temperatures to move in later in the week as that low pressure system from the Rockies moves southward also watching a Colorado low develop for the United States later in the week will bring some wintry and mixed precipitation across central and up into the Great Lakes region and some snow moving in for northern Alberta BC region later in the week as well but you can see minus nine is the coldest that it's going to be in this five-day forecast for Calgary anyway overlooking the Atlantic Ocean strong high pressure ridge dominating the Atlantic drying things out completely across Western Europe and into Central Europe still cooler temperatures hanging around though Eastern Europe and into Russia and watch for extreme weather to continue across Pakistan and into India up against the Mongolian mountains there watch for some extreme weather across China and into Japan later in the week as well heavy downpours likely in Japan very interesting Pacific Ocean right now I tell you be very interesting to see what it looks like come summertime again I want to thank all of my friends and family from around the world thank you so much for subscribing and tuning in every day and don't forget to hit that notification bell and make sure that you're receiving all notifications so you don't miss an update overlooking Africa not much to talk about some heavier rains East Coast towards Somalia South America not much to talk about here as well except for daytime evaporation rains heavier amounts towards Bolivia Peru Bolivia here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere much love to y'all and again don't forget to hit that like button and if you have not subscribed please do so join the family stay aware and prepared that's what this is all about God bless you all God bless humanity again thanks for watching Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.